Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to integrate ESP32 board to Luxon system by ESP Home. We have designed the Luxon for ESP Home component so that you can use Luxon mini server uh, with the ESP32 digital input and digital output so that you can use Luxon smart home application or work with the ESP32 board. That is very easy. Okay, let's look at the demo video. You can see this is our test environmental and this is Luxon demo. Just I use this Luxon mini server. Uh, this just in the uh, Luxon demo case. And this I have used the Kinkoni server mini because that I have installed the home assistant uh, in this box. And this time I have integrated the A8S board that is 8 channel relay output and 8 channel digital input board uh, with the ESP32 module. Actually, you can use any ESP32 board and integrate to the Luxon mini server. Okay, this is the hardware. I have connected the Ethernet and the Ethernet and the Ethernet so that will be stable. And next, let's look at how it works in Home Assistant and Luxon mini server software. Okay, let's back to our computer. Uh, you can see it here. That is the ESP Home Luxon component have made by Kinkone. So that you can see that is the config YAML file for ESP Home. Also, it's very simple. So you can see almost just define the external component and the switch and the binary sensor and the Luxon IP address uh, of the box. Okay, let's look at uh, this is our home assistant. Uh, you can see I can use the home assistant to control this A8S board uh, for on and off and control by this relay. And I mount this digital input at here in home assistant. Now I open Luxon config software. Okay, let's open the Luxon config software at here. And you can see that have our already create the ESP32 board, Kinkone ESP32 board uh, project. In this project, I have created uh, the demo, the simplest demo. Just this is relay one, country is relay one, and this is relay one state. And this is relay two, and this is relay two state, and this is digital input one. So this no feedback uh, for the icon. And this has the feedback state in Luxon application. Okay, I can just connect with my mini server that have auto scan and connect it and save to the mini server and run it. You can see a testing and save to mini server and live view. So you can see uh, this have the yellow and I can use this one and you can see I can use the home assistant and this is the mini server. So you can see we can put that here. And then the home assistant at the left window and the mini server at the right window. So you can see I can turn off, turn off, turn on relay one, turn off relay one. Uh, this will be changed. And here that you can see uh, that is changed. And also I can, you can see turn on relay two. That is changed. Turn off relay two, and we can also open this Luxon web page, and we just logging. Okay, this is Luxon application on web page, and also you can use the Luxon mobile phone application, and you can see this have two button. I just let it become small. Okay, you can see the left is the home assistant and the right it looks on application. I can turn on relay one, this is no feedback, but you can see I can turn on relay two, that is feedback. So now you can see I can turn on relay two at the home assistant and also I can turn on relay two in Luxon mobile phone application. So these two states, uh, home assistant and Luxon will update. So you can see, I can turn on and turn off. Okay, this is just a demo. This first channel of relay, no feedback function of Luxon application. Okay, uh, this is how to use the Luxon and the Home Assistant at the 
at the same time. And also we can see that have a digital input short metal short for this digital input one and the ground. Okay, so you can see uh, this become on and this become yellow. So you, you will see the home assistant and the Luxon application it updates the input state at the same time. You can see just for on and for off. So this time I have in integrated the ESP32 bar uh, to Luxon mini server. And how to set up uh, for this, uh, I will step by step tell you. That is very easily, not complicated. So you can see in our GitHub, that have list some key points, uh, just this one, step one, and step two for switch, and step three uh, for this binary sensor, and the last, you just set the mini servers, IP address, and some port information, so just the four step. Okay, let's check in Home Assistant, uh, that in ESP Home, you can see, I have used my A4S V2 board, just edit, and you will see. So this switch, every switch you have already created in Home Assistant, you just add this turn on and turn off Lamada command. You can see, just add here, look down, and this is our protocol. You can define by yourself uh, your protocol, how to uh, turn on relay one and how to turn off relay one. And also you can see this is a light tool. You just add this command uh, to light tool, how to turn on light tool, and how to turn off light tool. So if you have eight channel, you can see until light eight, I have added this or Lamada command. If you have 16 channel, or if you have 32 channel, you just add this command behind of your light setting. Okay, this is switch, and this is a binary sensor. Because the A8S board have the digital input, so it also have eight channel digital input. In every eight channel digital input, you can see I also have added this Lamada command. So uh, this is for input one. So that is the protocol for input one. And until, just as thing as the switch, uh, this is input eight. So I have added this code until eight channel. Okay, the so next, this is sensor, this analog sensor, I have not added to lock sound uh, this time. Uh, in future, we will add to a lock sound system for the analog sensor, for the dimmer. And at last, you can see, I just listed here, external component uh, from Kikoni GitHub, uh, this is the source code. And this is lock sound uh, protocol, we have used the UDP. And this is lock sound IP address, that is the mini server IP address. And this is lock sound port that have listening. You can see in our Luxon config and the virtual input, you can see it here. That means the Luxon mini server is listening UDP port at this part, 9999. And you can change by yourself if you want 7777, also is no problem. So if you have set this for four pixels of nine, so you can see it here, just in ESP home, uh, you can set to 9999. And this listening part, that is ESP32 have listening at this part by UDP command. So because the lock sound will send the uh, relay control command uh, for turn on and turn off relay by this part, you can see just 888. So that you will find in lock sound virtual output and you will see the A8S bar have six, have eight channel relay output. And at here, you can see uh, this UDP command, the IP address, at last have the part, is 8888. So just as soon as the part, you have set the listening part in ESP Home. Uh, you can change different. Uh, this is the end stop bit, because this is slash n. So you will see in our relay, the command, that also will have this, you can see slash n. So that just the command uh, sent to the ESP32 defined by yourself. And in Luxon mini server, send this command. So you at here, 
you need to decode this command in ESP Home. So that looks and send what command and ESP Home de de decode what command. Okay, you can see uh, this is eight channel. I have defined eight channel on string date. So that is very easy. Just copy and paste and copy and paste. Uh, if you uh, want to use the protocol as thing as ours, uh, you just copy uh, this one directly to use. Okay, uh, this is how to set in by the YAML file. And after you set it, you just uh, download it to ESP32 and the Luxon will work with the ESP32 together. And also you can see the config YAML file for ESP home. You will check in our phone that have a Luxon with King Kong integration Zoom. And you can click it here, King Kong ESP32 board, uh, add to Luxon system. And this is the hardware uh, we have using. And this is the uh, Luxon projector. And the Luxon projector, uh, you can download from our web page. I will upload it here. And this is uh, AHS, that ESP32 YAML file, config YAML file. You can download it here. OK, this is how to uh, integrate the ESP32. And also, there we have created the project template uh, for King Kong container. So that you can use different protocol uh, for the Luxon mini server. You can see uh, this have a demo that for HTTP and integrate by TCP and integrate by UDP command. So this have a template. Uh, you can download it here. And in Luxon mini server, also we can have a look. King Kong. So you can see uh, there are this have the demo. We have create, you can see the virtual output to control relay by HTTP. Uh, this is a four uh, 32 channel and the TCP also is 32 channel and the UDP 32 channel, how to write the command. So this is for output and also you can see the input. Uh, input and turn all on and all off uh, by this UDP command. Because the uh, importer is read the sensor state uh, feedback to the Luxon system, we suggest to use the UDP. If you use the HTTP command that have a limit of the Luxon system, every 10 seconds will update the state. So I think it's uh, slowly. So use the UDP so that will feedback the state uh, fast and it will change the state immediately. Okay, uh, this is Luxon mini server. How to configure it and how to integrate the ESP32 board uh, to Luxon system. Okay, thanks for watching.